So today we're talking bananas, as in banana bread. You guys seen the picture on the page last night. I made a loaf yesterday. And I'm gonna show you how to make this banana bread because it turned out so awesome. I've been trying to create one that has a really nice crumb on the top, which Dave really loved that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's moist and it's just a little out of the box, which you guys know that I do that kind of thing. Um, it's a little different probably than you're used to. Um, so we're gonna make it together and then I'll show you the finished product. I'm gonna have a little piece for lunch, but we're gonna make some banana bread today. So let's just go ahead and get started. So what you need for this is a bowl and a spoon. That's about all you need. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now I'll post the recipe on the page. Um, I, ha I create these recipes and I scratch them down and that's the way it works when you're doing a test kitchen. Um, you gotta figure these recipes out and then we get them to you. So let's go ahead with banana bread. So what I'm gonna start with first is a half a cup of melted butter. So we'll go ahead and put that in the bowl here. And then we're going to add brown sugar instead of white sugar. And this is one cup. And this is light, light brown sugar. Um, you could probably use dark, but I haven't tried it with dark. I use the light, so let's just say light. Go with uh, light brown sugar. All right, so I'm gonna mix these two up here. Like I say, you can just do this with a spoon. You guys know this is my favorite way to bake stuff, a bowl and a spoon. I love it. We're just gonna kind of mix this a little bit. All right, now we're gonna add a couple eggs. So we're gonna add two large eggs. Break them up and stir them in there. You know, we just got back from um, a ball game, our littles. We still have our smallest littles that are playing ball. They had a game this morning. So we just got back from that, and I wanted to get this video up for you guys this weekend. So we got a busy day going. Okay, so we just kind of mix that together. So we got our two eggs in there. So the next thing we're gonna do is add one and a half cups of just an all-purpose flour. We have some baking soda, and it's a teaspoon of baking soda and an eighth teaspoon of baking powder. And we have a half a teaspoon of salt. Clear up the space here. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I just kinda mix those like that at the top there and then just go ahead and mix it in. A lot of you, I'm just going to talk about this for a minute because a lot of you have asked about these bowls, these stacking um, colorful bowls that I have. And I picked these up on a clearance um, in cap at Gordman's department store when I was up north. I got, I think there's six bowls to that set and they were $5.98. So um, <laughs> that's why I picked them up and I do, I love these bowls. But I think you could probably find something on Amazon that you know is pretty close to it. Okay, so there's our dry ingredients there. All right, so I have two bananas here. Now these are kind of uh, bigger, on the bigger side. When I made the loaf last night, I had small ones. They were like this, they were organic ones. They were small and I used four of those small ones. But for this, we're gonna use um, these two big ones. It's gonna be good for us. Now, I'm not mashing these bananas. We're going to just put slices in here. Um, I just really 
like the bigger pieces and just, you know, kind of slice them. You know, you don't want uh, great big slices, but slice them kind of thin. So we're just gonna slice these and make sure your bananas are nice and ripe. We all know that about banana bread. You want your, they could even be more uh, black than this. They could be, you know, you guys know, you know, you can have pretty ripe bananas for banana bread. I'm just a mess, you guys. We were working on that locker project and I made, uh, did the black raspberry jam yesterday. Um, my hands are terrible and <laughs> I've got like bruises and scratches and dings all over my entire body <laughs> from that wood locker project. It's just like, it's just been crazy. <laughs> but it's all good. Use this little lid here to set this up. Okay, so two large bananas we're slicing in there. Okay, so there is that. Now, just gonna kinda start to mix that up just a tad. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of sour cream. This is full fat sour cream. So we're gonna add that in there too. Just mix it up. Just fold that in. delicious and just you know fold that till you don't see any more sour cream there okay now I have a half a cup of pecans you could use walnuts if you like that in your banana bread that's totally fine I like the pecans so that's what I'm using today um, so half a cup of chopped nuts and if you don't like nuts, you could just leave them out. I know Dave has a brother who doesn't like nuts and any baked goods, so um, we leave nuts out when he's around, but I love nuts and baked goods because I'm a little nutty, that's for sure. Okay, there we have that. Okay, now this is just a standard loaf pan. Uh, this is a vintage pan. This is aluminum. Um, it is a non-stick, but it's aluminum. But I still spray it a little bit because it's kind of old. But this is my go-to pan for my breads. I like this so much better than a glass or um, like the metal ones. I just, I just like this one. You can bake it in whatever your favorite is. But um, So then I'm going to go ahead and just put this in. It's really a simple recipe, and I think you'll have all these things on hand, all these ingredients. There's nothing that is really out of the ordinary. It just goes uh, together a little differently. It's not terrible. All right, now, so you just wanna spread this out a little. Just kinda get it even. Okay. Now, here's the part that is probably gonna be a little different than you're used to. So here I have another half a cup of brown sugar. And to that, I'm going to add some vanilla. This is a clear vanilla, it doesn't have to be clear. Um, and I'm gonna put probably about a half a teaspoon in here. So I'm adding that to the brown sugar. This is our topping is what we're doing here. And then we're going to add just a couple drops of maple, a 
of maple flavoring. And you just, you know, want a little, you know, this is kind of scratch. You just, you know, pipe it just like that, like five drops of maple flavoring. And then we're going to just mix this up. I'm just gonna infuse this brown sugar with our flavorings. And what I found out, what happens with this is it makes a really delicious crumb on the top of this bread when it bakes, doing it this way. And it is so good and I just wanted to share it with you guys because you might want to make it. You know, just get in your kitchen and try things. That's what cooking is all about. It's just having fun. Just get in there and do it. Okay, so see, that's what we have there. Now, I have one more banana. And I know that this one's just a tad big, so I'm gonna cut it just a little bit. bit off of here because I want this about the size of my pan. It's going to be kind of like that. Now I'm going to slice this lengthwise. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to pack on some of this brown sugar infused topping on these bananas. And what's gonna happen with this is they're gonna caramelize is what's gonna happen. And then you just kinda lay it right there and you don't really have to push it down much. Just go ahead and set it right there. And then we're gonna do the other one. We're just gonna, and uh, these caramelize is what happens. And then the rest of this topping, <laughs> it, it just turns out really awesome. It's really good. So then you just want to put that one right there. And then just go ahead and just fill in with a little bit of your topping. Right on top there. And then you want to pop this in a 350 oven. And um, I baked mine for exactly 65 minutes is what I baked mine for, 65. And I have an electric oven, but um, that's, so you wanna bake it till your center is done. We all know that, just put a little toothpick in there. And when it comes out clean, your bread's done. Now we know some quick breads, it takes a little while. It's, it's gonna be over an hour that you're gonna bake this bread. But um, it's all good, turns out great. So that's what we do. You just pop it in the oven and bake it. And then um, this is the one that Dave and I did yesterday. And as you can see, we already got into it. Well, we had to taste it. That's right. We had to check it out. Okay, so see here, it's super moist. It is a very moist banana bread. You got your uh, banana slices in there and your bananas on top here, they're just gonna go down just a little bit when that bakes and this one here stayed up just a little taller, that's fine. And um, those caramelized, those are caramelized bananas. And then this top is so amazing. It has this crumb on the top that is just to die for, it's so good. So I'm just gonna cut a piece here. Yeah, see there, look at that. that is Beautiful. I'm telling you what, this bread tastes awesome. It's so good. And of course, I'm gonna put a little butter on mine. You have to have a little butter on your banana bread, you know, which is the way it is. So, let me give it a try. That's so good. You know what? This is better the second day. This is, this is killer. We should call this Killer Banana Bread, Dave. Yeah, Killer Banana that Bread. Maybe that's a good name. Killer Banana Bread. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Okay. We'll post the recipe and give it a try. It's so good.